Mm, very good. Um, so the, the Civil Air Patrol Chaplain Corps actually has the closest relationship with the Air Force of any component of CAP because our chaplains have the ability to force multiply and fill slots the Air Force needs for chaplain support. Mm -hmm. And I'm just curious what, uh, what your perspective is on the role of the CAP Chaplain Corps in providing uh, ongoing chaplain services to Air Force members and their families. Yeah, um, great, great question. And I, I would, uh, I would begin by saying, you know, thank you to all of those who have um, have signed up and committed to serving as a Civil Air Patrol chaplain. Thank you. Um, and you know, we we have not even begun to scratch the surface of what this kind of collaborative ministry can look like. Uh, the Civil Air Patrol is an official auxiliary of the United States Air Force. Uh, you all are airmen, and uh, and and we are are proud of that uh, that connection that we have, and and I think uh, so. Getting to your question, a couple things come to mind. Um, there are any number of things that, quite frankly, we just can't do uh, on our own. I know Civil Air Patrols cha chaplains who are helping us with funeral support and and other kinds of things. Um, in our communities, and we're so very grateful for that because we would love to be able to to, to drop what we're doing and, and minister to every retiree uh, widow who calls and says, I'd, I'd love to have an Air Force chaplain uh, do my husband's funeral, and we simply don't have the bandwidth and the people to do that, and I know many of our Civil Air Patrol chaplains have stepped up to to fill that gap, and we're, we're so grateful. Um, it's also my job as the chief of chaplains, and maybe the my, maybe the primary job is to look over the horizon, to to listen carefully to my bosses, and to incorporate intelligence reports and the things that that we see and and observe and and ponder, um, as to what are the needs in the future. And quite frankly, um, there's a lot of reason that to to believe um, that, uh, that, that America is, is potentially in for some tough battles militarily. Mm -hmm. And, and if we, in fact, um, you know, have to deploy 70% of our forces to other lands, um, I, I absolutely believe that Civil Air Patrol will come in and begin to, to backfill in a way that quite frankly, we've not formalized and we've not made this an official, uh, formulaic, uh, way forward. But as Americans do um, in times of crisis, we 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 do what we have to. We uh, we improvise and we overcome. And and, and so I think uh, the whole vastness of, of Civil Air Patrol chaplains um, will, as we continue to think this through through our contingencies, be a more and more integral part of the way in which we care for uh, for those who who are left back in in times of, of war. And, and secondly, or thirdly, I would just say too, is that there's a lot of clergy who um, either are too old or, or, you know, maybe not physically fit enough to, to serve as an active duty guard or reserve chaplain. But, but, uh, but gosh, what an amazing opportunity to serve mm -hmm. young yeah. men and women in the Civil Air Patrol and to teach, uh, to teach values and you know, core values to, to be about developing the moral and ethical Americans that will one day be running our country and and for clergy to to use their passion for ministry and to employ their own ministry skills uh, toward the development of young Americans through the Civil Air Patrol. What a what, what an amazing privilege um, that is. And I know um, there are thousands and thousands and thousands of clergy persons out there who if if a little bit a little bit more of understanding of the opportunities within Civil Air Patrol to be in part of search and rescue missions and to be part of developing tomorrow's greatest generation, um, that that to me would be an exciting opportunity for many many clergy, um, especially from a variety of faith groups and and to expose our young people who who thankfully don't have the biases that, that guys like me have and grew up with. Um, you know, they just, they want to know um, 
what Muslims think and they want to embrace what, what Buddhists believe. And even though they're Southern Baptists, they have a have a thirst for knowing and appreciating others. And you know, what a better opportunity than, than to to expose uh, young cadets to these kinds of learnings through the Civil Air Patrol uh, chaplaincy. So if you're a young, or excuse me, if you're a clergy person out there looking for a little variety in the way you do ministry, give uh, Chaplain Steckast and, uh, and Chaplain Miner a call and they'll, they'll put you to work. Thank you, sir. You That's bet. Great. One last, I guess uh, with one last question, sir, we're, uh, we are here in April as we finish up April and that is National Volunteer Month. Uh, we'll give you the final word. Uh, what would you like to say to the volunteer airmen of the Civil Air Patrol? Oh, just thank you. Um, you know, th there is uh, there is no way to quantify the difference that you're making as you lean in and and mentor young kids, many of whom come from less than ideal families who are just looking to be loved, looking to be appreciated. They want someone to put their arm around them and say, "Hey, you can do this," and and um, and you know, and I'm proud of you. And uh, and all the ways that Civil Air Patrol volunteers uh, lean in and 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 respectfully demonstrate the, the the true nature and 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 character of our nation, um, and and to do that in a way that's uh, contagious. And quite frankly, uh, will develop a, a, another great generation of of, of uh, Americans. So thank you for all of you who are leaning in to do just that. Um, I'm so very proud uh, to at least be on the fringes of, of that great effort. Uh, thank you. All right. Well, thank you very much, Chaplain Scheich. It's good to have you with us today. I really appreciate, again, that you took the uh, time to speak to our uh, Civil Air Patrol members and to potential clergy uh, who might be interested in chaplaincy. So God bless you, sir, and really appreciate it. God bless you, too. Thank you both. Thanks.